Center, please. Now pitching for the Jets. Number 15, Hank Bennett. Hank Bennett is now on the mound. Out of the bullpen comes Hank Bennett for the Centenary Gents. He's from Richmond, Texas. Bennett hasn't pitched a lot. This will be his eighth appearance. He's had one start, 0-2 record, nine and one-third innings this season. And now in with their season on the line, TLU with a win will be tournament champion. This weekend, two years ago, Hank Bennett was on the mound as the tournament concluded. He got the final out in the save of the Gents 2022 championship, and today he hopes to not be the last pitcher on the mound, trying to keep this game tied and send it to the 11th. Number nine hitter Chance Green is up. Then the top of the order, Eric Vasquez, and then Hayden Kesselring. Bennett, right-hander, brings it in. That's low to Green. Green is 0 for 2 in the game. He walked and got hit by a pitch. Foul back, 1-1. This game has had a lot of drama, a lot of twists and turns, like driving down a country road. Oh, yeah. It's back and forth. Inside ball two. You can expect a lot of strikes from Hank Bennett, a third year centenary gent in his senior season. Swing and a miss. Couldn't get to that high fastball. Now the count's 2 2. Fly ball, center field. Landry will make the catch. Out number one. Landry is now in center. Eric Vasquez, one hit on the day. Drove in two with that base hit in the fourth inning. Vasquez out of Brandeis High School in San Antonio. Curveball in, now 2-0. Oh. Don't want to fall behind 2-0 oh to this guy if you're Bennett, but that's exactly the situation he's going to have to deal with now. Vasquez has hit two home runs. That time poured in a strike, 2-1. Now three and one. Great hitters count for Vasquez. They do not want to walk the winning run. So he's going to put something over the plate. Strike two. No surprise Vasquez didn't take a rip at that. Yeah. Great hitters count, 3-1, I guess. Just not the pitch he was looking for. Here comes the 3-2. Hit in the air to center. Landry over again. He's made both outs in the inning. And now two outs for Hayden Kesselring. Kessel ring one hit today. Fastball up and in from Bennett. Ball outside. If they get there, Centenary will have Pitts, Gantz, and Morse 
seven, eight, nine hitter in the 11th. Fly ball down the right field line that's curving toward the line and it will be caught in right field by Benoit. A one, two, three tenth. We go to the 11th, tied at seven on sportsgram.net. Last wraps for Texas Lutheran. They're down by three. Hank Bennett back out there for the Centenary Gents. It's Arias, PV, and Drain. Three, four, five for Texas Lutheran. First pitch swinging, he bangs it foul wide of third, nothing and one. Lifted to right center, Berglund is over to his left, he reaches up and makes the catch. One down in the last of the 11th. Asher Bunnell is gonna grab a bat and pinch it for Peavy. First pitch up and in and it got a piece of his jersey. So the Bulldogs not going down without a fight. They have a one out base runner. Not ideal, but this is where that three run cushion comes in. That would be the tying run in a one run lead. The winning run would be at the plate. First pitch to Carson Drain runs outside. Now Hank Bennett's game to win. Yep. If he can finish. 1-0. High fly ball to center. Berglund. Underneath it. Reaches up. Makes the catch. And the Bulldogs are down to their final out in this game six. Centenary with the win would force a game seven on championship Monday. But it's the dangerous Tyler Post to the plate. The good news for the gents is he can hit it as far as he can, they'll still have the lead. I would expect Bennett to go right after him here. First pitch is in there for a strike. Throw to first, runners back. Again, if the Jets finish this, the winner-take-all game seven will start at noon tomorrow at sportsgram.net. Up and away, ball two. Or ball one, I beg your pardon. One and one, the count. And Centenary would then be facing their third straight elimination game, but so would TOU now if they can close this. Next pitch misses low and in, two and one. Next offering on its way, swing and a tip in and out of the mid of Gaunt's. And the Bulldogs down to their last strike. Two and two, the pitch from Bennett up high. Well, TLU won the tournament in 2021. Centenary did. One of these teams are going to win it in 2024. The only question left is, who will it be? The pitch from Bennett misses low, and the tying run will come to the plate for Texas Lutheran. Well, the good news is Chase Bourgeois is not a power hitter, although he has been really pesky against Centenary pitching this season. From the stretch, here's the first pitch from Bennett. Right down Broadway for strike one. Yeah. 
Fastball outside, and the count evens at one and one. Next pitch. Fastball just misses outside, two and one. From the stretch, here's the 2-1, up and in, backed him off the plate. Boy, you can't nibble a run with this guy. You just got to go at him. You've got a three-run lead. Mason Cadeau, who has power capability, is on deck. And go right at Bourgeois. And Gauntz is going to take a walk to the mound to try to calm down his pitcher. Bennett has been in these high leverage situations before. I mentioned earlier he got the final out against Trinity in the 2022 conference championship game. Trying to extend this tournament another day. Three and one the count on Chase Bourgeois, the shortstop for Texas Lutheran. Pair of runners aboard. Bennett from the stretch, here's the three one. Wow. Just misses, wow. So the bases are loaded and the potential winning run striding to the plate in the form of Mason Godot. From the category of there ain't nothing easy, I give you the, the yeah. latter stages of this game. They just won't go away. From the wind, here's the pitch. Up the middle, backhanded behind second by Morris, toss to second, not in time! That was close. I think he was safe. Bang, bang at the second base bag. The call was safe. TLU plates a run. It's 10 to 8. And the inning and game will continue for Chance Green, the catcher. I think they're going to, would they pinch hit for Green? He's not average wise. He's their worst hitter in the lineup. He's 160 coming in. They've got the tying run at second now. Two outs. Kyle Palmer, their coach. And now the umpire says, let's go. We got to go here. And will he let Green hit? Yes, he will. Your number nine hitter will come up with two outs. Post at third, Bourgeois at second. He's the tying run. With the bases loaded, Bennett working from the windup, the pitch. Lifted high in the air and deep to left, but Livesey is underneath it, approaching the track, reaches up, makes the catch. We will see you on Championship Monday. The Centenary Diamond Gents won't go down without a fight. They force a Game 7 tomorrow at noon right here at La Moderna Field in Cleburne. We got it for you on Sportsgram. Noon sharp. Be here. Had a lot of drama in both these games. Seven, six.